This is a video on the conversion to a T5 system in my classic 900. And uh, there's the wiring harness all from the um, 1996 uh, Saab 900, or 97 Saab 900. And uh, then I have the old wiring harness over here. So what I've done is just compare the the lengths to try to make them uh, about the same so when I put the new harness in the car it'll line up like the old one. Uh, so one of the things I'm working on today are the grounds which on the old harness are here and around the new harness I mean are here and it's about 53 inches and the old grounds are way over here which is about 70 75 76 somewhere in there uh, it doesn't have to be perfect um, just close enough so we need to bring this thing bring these grounds out about uh, 20 inches from 53 to 73, about there. Uh, so what I've done is I actually got another harness out of a car, another car that was, it was actually cut, uh, the engine was pulled out of the car and the harness was cut right near the bulkhead, uh, but it gave me the perfect amount of extra wire I need to extend uh, the harness with the same color wires. So I have here a, uh, I have the wire that I need, the ground wire. And uh, what I'll show you is how I'm splicing these together. Uh, so you can see I've already spliced um, one ground wire here. And uh, so now I'm gonna go after this other wire. So the first thing I have to do is actually remove uh, well, there's two ways you can splice into it. I could just cut this wire here and just put in two separate uh, splices, splice connectors. Uh, but I've, since I have the extra harness, uh, I only I can get away with just doing one splice because it has the right end. I can put back in, and then just I'm just splicing the one side. So the trick here is actually getting the old uh, the connector out of the plug. And I have two different tools depending on the size because there's some bigger ones on the ends and then the smaller ones in the middle. Uh, for the big one, I created a... Let's see if I can get a close-up of it here. I created basically a paper clip and it fits pretty good. And the ends curve out just a little bit to uh, to do the pins. For the uh, for the other one, I basically just use two, for the smaller ones, I just do U2 pins kind of like this. And uh, that's enough to, to get them out. I'll try to put this on camera, but I'll need both hands. So I'm just gonna put the camera down and and let it go while I try to do try to do this. So there's um you want to make sure that this is fully seated all the way down. And you can sometimes push up on this wire just to make sure the wire's all the way up. Your tool goes down, pushes in on the pins. And if you did it right, it'll come right out. But if it fights you at all, then you, um, you need to keep working it a little bit.
There we go. Uh, I don't know if we can see, so I pulled out, took a couple of tries, you saw. But these has two little pins on the ends. And that's what you're trying to push in on with a little tool. And uh, if you don't get it right, you'll know it. It should just take one good tug to pull it off. If you're pulling it more than a, a solid tug, then your tool isn't right and just uh, start over and try again. Uh, otherwise, these small wires, you can pull the wire completely out of the connector if you, um, if you pull too hard. So now that the wire is out, I can um, I can do my splice. And first thing I'll do is is cut the wire. And then I have a uh, anti stripper. And now I take my new wire and I'm going to um, first add my splice connector. This is the, uh, this is a fancy splice connector where it, uh, you'll see it uses a heat gun and there's solder in the middle and it does two things. It'll shrink over the wire and the solder will melt and connect the two wires together. So first, and I like to, um, rather than just use a butt splice, a uh, lap splice, I like to actually twist them together just so they're a little bit stronger joint. And I didn't like the way that went, so I'm going to actually make more wire here. I wanted to give myself a little bit more to um, twist. And that's a little too long, so I'm just going to trim it. Now, it should go a lot smoother. So that's the finished splice, and it's actually, you know, together, but not strong. I roll this over. I put the soldered piece right in between. And now I have a heat gun.
Actually, a little solder uh, came out of the end, but now the um, the wires together. So basically, on the um, conversion, you'll have to do this uh, this splicing on quite a few wires. I think I'm up to uh, at least ten wires, and I still have the entire. Uh, DIC plug that I need to move and that's got about eight I think eight more wires seven seven wires so that's uh, how I'm extending the harness and uh, hopefully this video helps show you how to do it